Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so basically in this time, uh, we talk about that from the carbon, measuring the carbon storage from the space. Mm -hmm. How we can easily measure the carbon oh. storage. Okay. Okay, that's so, fine. But, yeah. uh, uh, but we have, uh, you have just uh, sent me a video. That's very brief, you know. Yeah. So please provide me some example code so that I can understand that. Okay, okay. Okay, so that's why I also talk about in this time about the code. So, okay, so let's go. So, okay, so I start the recording. So, that I also provide you the recorded video class. Thank you. Okay, so now can you see my screen? Yep. Yeah. Uh, not now. Um, not yet. Okay, so now it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's getting inside okay. now. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. So basically, uh, when you want to work with the carbon storage, in this time we are using the two uh, primary data, two data set we are using in here. So first of all, yeah. we are using the data set for NPP and GPP. In this time, uh, first of all, I will try to discuss about that two. Data set. Oh, excuse me, yeah. sir, uh, uh, just a brief question. That, yeah. uh, uh, in the previous uh, uh, session, when we were discussing the actual yeah. NPT, uh, yeah. that calculated, uh, uh, that is uh, based on, you know, some uh, uh, photo uh, uh, radiation photosynthetic activity. So, had we, did we calculate all that? I mean, uh, how did we derive the two bands um, uh, when we were discussing that actual NPP? So, um, what is NPP? Okay, so basically we can easily, uh, this data set is already reserved in the MODIS. This, this is the okay. data set. Already, uh, we did not any algorithm to create the actual NPP. Okay. We did not put any algorithm. This data okay. set is already reserved in this data set, you can see. Uh, okay. mainly I mean, with, yeah. You mean that the band is already available? Already yeah? available, yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. this actual so NPP, we don't need, yeah. need, we don't need to take uh, yeah. photosynthetically yeah. active radiation into consideration. We don't yeah. need to do we, that. We yeah? don't need this, yeah. We don't need this. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Thank okay. You. So now, in this time, here we talk about the carbon, measuring the carbon storage. So basically in this time, we are using the two data set uh, uh, and this data set is the uh, provide the modis, the same data set. But this data mm -hmm. set has a problem. This data yeah. set, this time duration is not same. Okay. First, the okay. NPP data set here, I use the, this data set, you can see. This is the mainly the tri 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 primary production yearly global 500 meter res uh, resolution, this data set. As well as this mm -hmm. data set, as that we can get the data set as an annual data set from this data set we can get the annual NPP, okay? Mm -hmm. We can get the annual yes. NPP, okay? And okay. also you can see this data set, uh, we can get the annual NPP, but when you want to work with the GPP or gross primary production, we can get mm -hmm. the data set for the every single eight day. Here you can see, we can get the eight okay. day, eight day global data set okay. for every single eight day, we can get the data from this data set. And this is okay. the gross primary production, okay? And uh, okay. here we can also get the data set GPP. This is the band yep. GPP, gross mm -hmm. primary production. Mm -hmm. And okay. other data set we can get the NPP. Okay. So in this time, you can see also there new unit is available in here. So in this time, we need to create the same duration data set. Okay. Okay. So this eight day, I want to convert this eight day in annual. Okay. Because my already this data set is already available for the yearly or annual data set is already available. So that's why okay. I need to convert this data set for his data set is available eight day. I need to convert it annual. Okay. You and mean NPP NPP is available on annual basis and annual GPP basis. is available on eight, eight day. day basis. Yeah, no? yeah, yeah. So that's so why we have to yeah. make that compatible. Yeah, compatible yeah. Compatible with. Yeah, yeah. Okay. In this time, this is my shape file. Uh, your this mm -hmm. uh, boundary shape file. I simply import the boundary shuffle in here. So in this time, um, suppose in this time, uh, this is my observation time period. So year of 2010, uh, 1st January from 2012, uh, December 31. This is my observation time period. Okay. I simply select this. In this time, 
So in this time, I simply call the NPP collection. I take a variable and filter this according to my time period. Okay. So I start at in date. I already defined the start date and in date and select my region and select my specific band. Okay. okay. So NPP band, I select this. And the same way, I simply select this the GPP band also in here. Okay. And in this time, I need to calculate the NPP. NPP, you can see NPP is that uh, yearly. Okay. So okay. in this time, I think in this code, we are convert the NPP in the eight day. Just a minute, I check the code. Okay. So okay. we need to we need to the same uh, time duration. Okay. Uh, okay. Is yearly okay. or eight day? It's that it doesn't matter. But our main goal is that we need to calculate the NPP as well as also GPP uh, at the same time duration. Okay. Okay. So for okay. this, uh, in this time, we calculated the NPP for eight day. But our okay. NPP is available for the NPP you can see NPP is yearly okay okay yes. this data is the yearly so for this I simply mm -hmm. take a function I simply take the variable name NPP my NPP then okay. then I simply put here the date e date okay get info so this is the function for uh, this is the date I start here the start date as well as also put mm -hmm. here the year then I simply filter the year of GPP and MPP. So I simply filter the year. So I simply use here the year year and NPP 8. So when you want to convert the NPP 8, then we have the equation. This equation is that this is the equation. Okay. This is the equation. Okay. We are using this equation for converting this uh, 8 day. Okay. So we can simply okay. use the equation. You can easily find out the equation uh, different types of uh, research paper as well as also uh, i also send you the reference paper uh, for this equation where i can get the equation so i have to send you this okay. equation no problem for this okay and then when i want to uh, use this equation now, now i get this uh, result for npp8 collection so now it convert all of the things into the 8 day okay mm -hmm. so i want to get the result in the 8 day also npp so in this time mm -hmm. when i want to get this npp8 this this is my carbon storage okay because okay. you can see NPP is that when I want to open this NPP and uh, you can see here this is the product various information about the annual net primary productivity is annual NPP is derived from this net primary production and is also okay so difference between the GPP and maintains the expiration keep it okay that's okay so in this time okay so I should take this data so just a minute so GPP is that <laughs> In eight day five minute resolution, this data set is the reliability. You can see uh, mm -hmm. this concept of the can be potential used to input the data models to calculate the terrestrial yes. energy as well as also carbon water cycle process and biochemistry of vegetation. So in this time, we, this data set is also provide you the carbon. And when you want to use the equation like this equation, uh, and this this is the equation. This is the equation. Then it will easily, mm -hmm. it will easily calculate it, the carbon storage uh, in the space. We can easily calculate it using the equation. So now this okay. image is showing the carbon storage. When I want to check the value, suppose I want to simply click on the inspector tab and click on this any portion. Mm -hmm. Then I want to get the result you can see for the NPP. This is the 49.0. Okay. And what is the unit? Mm -hmm. This unit is that you can see. This grams is, per, I think. Yeah. So this is our yeah, unit. Kg, yeah. Kg. Yeah. Kg. So how many is available? So we can easily calculate it, this carbon storage. So in this time, okay. uh, we need to make the time series chart when the carbon storage is the high and low and when and it will be. We need to make the carbon storage, uh, make the time series chart and calculate it mm -hmm. the, between the time series analysis. Okay. So let's go for the okay. time series analysis. Uh, okay. So I simply write this code. We need to use the code UI or Chart dot image dot series and then put mm -hmm. all of the argument one by one. So just I simply press the curly bracket start and curly bracket in or make a dictionary. Okay, so then I simply put all of the things one by one. Then we easily make the time series chart for the carbon storage mm -hmm. when it will be high mm -hmm. and low. Okay. 